I just want to say there's two huge black flies just running around here. You're probably going to see them in the video or hear them at some point. Don't judge me. I don't know why they're here. They were not invited. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, I'm feeling kind of dark. This is like my go-to fall look. I said in a couple videos before that I feel most comfortable in a look like this, and it's true. Dark lips and kind of just like this glassy, highlighted skin. In the fall, I usually get pretty pale, even paler than I am now. I still have a lot of my tan left from the summer. You can't really tell on camera, but in person, I still have a lot of my tan left. I get even paler than this. And personally, I love having pale skin in the winter time. I used to hate it, but I have learned to embrace it. Uh, next week, I will be 26. Um, I've always loved the fall. The fall just speaks to every part of me. That like smell in the air, bonfires, it's not too hot. It is no secret that I am a dry, 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 dry desert. I have to moisturize so much when it starts to get colder, so you'll see me do that quite a bit. I love having just very dewy, moisturized skin all the time, but especially during the fall time. I want to look dewy, I want to look fresh, and I always usually keep my eyes very simple. One to two eyeshadows, maybe eyeliner if I'm feeling it, I'm wearing eyeliner now, lashes, and dark lip. and. Usually for work, I'll do all of this, but I, instead of a dark lip, I'll do something more nude. Um, just so you know, my necklace, I previewed this in a video, a couple videos back when I tried Pinterest outfits. Uh, love this necklace. I got it from ASOS. It's just a cheap gold sort of necklace. And then this shirt is actually a dress and I got it from Goodwill. I feature this look quite a bit on my Instagram and every time that I post this look, somebody's like, please, please, please make a tutorial for it. So here it is. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's head over to voiceover Ari so she can show you how to get this look. <laughs> So first things first, obviously rose water. It moisturizes the skin, gives me a good base. I will be using it throughout this. Then of course I'm going to also moisturize with my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. I love to give myself a little massage. I'll put on my little Rosie the Riveter Terry Towel holder. Oop. And now I am taking the highlight by Becca. This is in the liquid highlight in the shade Opal. I love to put this on my skin beforehand. It gives me a good base to get that really glowy, dewy-like skin. So I try to always use that before I put on foundation. And look at that glow, girl. And then I'm going to, to go ahead and uh, use my Real Techniques Beauty Blender Sponge, the purple one is so cool. I use the flat, the big flat side of it, and I take the Fit Me Concealer and the NYX Photogenic Concealer. And those two concealers mixed together are both high coverage, long lasting, and very, very dewy and moisturizing. And I just use these to cover up all my acne and acne scars. And that sponge by Real Techniques is amazing. Absolutely amazing for just patting product into your skin without it looking heavy or cakey or anything like that. As you can see, just as looks like dewy fresh skin. And take it down the neck, but of course, I'm gonna be using the Naked Heat palette today and I'm going to go over my eye with a wash of color. The color I'm using is Chaser, which is like a beigey brown color. It's very light. Whenever I do dark lips, I like to keep my eyeshadow very minimal. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the concealer, um, Fit Me Concealer, but also use the Tarte Maracuja Concealer. That's also a very emollient and moisturizing concealer, and those two together just give me a very, very dewy but covered up under eye, which I absolutely love, and I pat that in as well. Pat, 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 that is the key. And then I'm gonna take my Revolution Baked 
a highlighter palette and I usually just take the second shade down. I've shown this in many videos before but I'm just highlighting my brow bone and inner corner. Then I'm going to take my Milani blush. I love this blush. It's just like my favorite blush. I can't get enough of it. And yep, that's like my everyday blush and I really like blush blush cheeks on pale skin. I think it looks really pretty. Then I'm going to take one of my favorite powders, the Fit Me powder, and I'm just going to set the areas of my face that I don't want dewy, like the middle of my forehead and the sides of my cheeks and on the sides of my nose. It's a very soft focus powder, so I love, love, love that everywhere. Then I'm going to take more rose water. I use this to really just melt everything into the skin so it never looks too cakey. I'm going to take some clear brow gel from NYX and kind of flatten my eyebrows out, make them look a little bit thicker. I like minimal eyebrows when I'm doing a dark lip just so we don't have too much going on. And today I'm actually going to put on eyeliner. I never put on eyeliner, but I'm just going to use this brown L'Oreal Matte Matic Eyeliner. And if you heard that little jingle, that was the dog. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the shadow Sauced from that same Naked palette and really smoke out my under, my under eye. I don't want it to be too smoky, but I like to almost look <laughs> a little tired. It's weird, because I wanna cover up the darkness under my eyes. But I almost want like faux bags. And that's kind of what I use this eyeshadow for. I don't know why, I just like that look. I'm going to take the Rocket Power Mascara, my favorite mascara, and I just take that everywhere. Very luscious lashes. Then I'm going to take the lip liner, one of my favorite lip liners ever, Blood Milk by Kat Von D. This uh, lip liner does not budge. I mean, it just doesn't go anywhere. So it's very long lasting. I fill my lips in completely. Then I'm going to take the NYX Lip Suede, one of my favorite formulas for drugstore liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade Club Hopper. Little pose. And then I'm gonna just take my hair down, I'm gonna brush through it, make sure it's smooth and shiny. But I really love to put a little bit of product in my hair. This is one of my favorite products. It's just a pomade, it's blue. And I usually just take a little bit of, oh, it smells so good. I take a little bit of that, you can use whatever pomade, and you just kind of smooth down your baby hairs, and that's what I do. And then, you know, I have some sideburns too, and I like those to be smoothed down as well. You know, it's just, it's a look. You know, just, just maintenance. There you go. Nice and neat. And then I'm going to take the Dose of Colors uh, collaboration with I Love Sarai which is Karen, and this is in the shade Soulmate. I'm going to put more rose water on my face so it can be extra moisturized. And then I'm going to take the NYX Butter Gloss Lip Gloss in Blueberry Tart. So yes, that was today's look. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you likes, I'll see you comments. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through another video. And I will see you next week.